All right, let's solve this. If no solution exists, then we'll just say there's no solution. Okay. So once again, if we want common denominators, then we can get rid of all the denominators, which is great. Um, but we've got that x squared minus 1. That's a difference of squares, which means we can factor that one out. All right. So let's look at that. We're going to have 1 over x minus 1. Um, I'm just writing this because it didn't affect anything on the left side of the equals. This equals 2 over, again, the difference of squares x minus 1 and x plus 1. All right. So, yes, we're going to look at all three of these denominators. And uh, like, like you pointed out, here we got x minus 1, and this one already has an x minus 1. This one has an x plus 1, and this one already has that x plus 1. So uh, if we want common denominators, we need to put in what's missing into these other two denominators. So the x plus 1 is missing an x minus 1, which will multiply by the numerator as well. And the x minus 1 is missing an x plus 1. So we're going to multiply that by the numerator as well. Now the way that I have this written, we have three terms, all with three common denominators. Which means that we can rewrite this problem now without any denominators. So I got x plus 1 times 1 plus 1 times x minus 1. And this now yeah, equals 2. Now in, right? No. All right. Well, continuing. Uh, we don't really need to distribute the 1. So I just have x plus 1 uh, plus uh, x minus 1 equals 2. So combining like terms, I've got x plus x, which would be 2x's. And then I've got 1 minus 1, which would those cancel out. And this equals 2 so we'll just divide by 2 on both sides and that shows us that x is 1 so this is one of those problems where if we don't check we've done ourselves a horrible disservice right so let's go ahead and check which will hopefully will show us pretty quickly why that is a bad thing so in that first fraction, I got 1 over 1 minus 1. Uh, I'm going to fill the rest of this out, even though some of you guys don't really need it. 1 plus 1, and this equals 2 over 1 squared minus 1. Well, right here, 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 divided by 0 is an undefined value. This one also, this other denominator would also give us zero right there both of which are extremely bad and so one actually is not a solution and that's the only solution we found so this one has apparently no solutions